I'm Kevin Davis, and this is the Catholic Family Podcast. And, well, today I'm going to try to send you all somewhere other than YouTube, and that is over to patreon.com. Go to patreon.com. You can then find the Catholic Family Podcast. Search for it. I will also attach a link to it. And over there, we've had only, to this point, only two videos. We've had one with Dr. Dan Stanislavski and Father McKenna, as well as one that we recently did with my dad and my brother, William, that covered, well, it's it's starting a new series. And that series is called Let's Talk History. And the idea is to cover historical events as, you know, as deeply as possible, as truly as possible, as honestly as possible. And, well, only from our own, you know, research, our own intellect and, and, you know, our own opinions. So, you know, the, the three of us in this video are not experts, we're not historians, but, you know, I think we have some thought-provoking content about the topic. Um, the topic is that of the moon landing, the Apollo 11 moon landing. This was back in the mid-1960s. Um, one of the, really the turbulent times, I think, in all of human creation, as far as I know, the, the history I have read I think the 1960s might be the most insane decade in history. It's certainly one of them. Now, I know that's that's recency bias to a point, but um, just what was going on then, I think it's really, truly remarkable, partly just because in the 1960s, the true church, the Catholic church was dividing, I suppose you could say. The true Catholic church obviously remained, but the Nova Sordo was created you know, at Vatican II. So that's just one of the examples of what was going on. You had the sexual revolution. You had the murder of John F. Kennedy, the murder of Martin Luther King Jr., the murder of Robert Kennedy, all of these things happening as well as the moon landing, or, well, we assume they landed on the moon. So what we talk about, we talk about kind of the event itself, what was going on, and we do consider the idea of would they have faked the moon landing? Could they have faked the moon landing? And why would they have faked the moon landing? Now, I know this sounds like, oh, conspiracy theory garbage. Conspiracy theory garbage. I'm <laughs> sorry. But I, it, it really isn't, I don't think. I, I think it, if you listen to it, it's very practical. It's very, you know, trying to look at the facts as best we can. It's not like, oh, we didn't land on the moon because the government's a bunch of liars. No. It's like, could we have done it? Should we have done it? Did we do it? And it's all opinion, obviously. But I think it's, it's pretty interesting. I think we have a very interesting conversation with the three of us. Um, and I think you'll be surprised at the conclusions we come to or the co conclusions we don't come to, actually. And and I think the big question when you come to these conspiracy theories, to me, you know, if, if it's Flat Earth or JFK's assassination, the moon landing, etc., you know, because the, the theories always have to be kind of far-fetched. That's why they're called conspiracy theories, right? You know, someone had to have lied for years and years and years. And I think my question is always, does it make sense? Why? Why would someone lie about it? Why would they create this? Why would they do it? And that's what we talk about a lot in this video over on Patreon is, okay, first of all, why? And second of all, could they have? We don't know if they did or not. And I think that's, I'm giving away the conclusion already. We really don't know. Nobody knows. We, we, it looks like they did. And either they did the greatest fake of all time, or they did something incredible for mankind, and that is going to the moon. And we don't really draw a conclusion. But what we do is have an interesting conversation that, that makes people, I hope, think about it. You know, and, and think about the why, and think about the how. Very interesting. And, and I, I, I enjoyed it. It was really great. A great time talking about it. It's over an hour long. It's a long podcast, but um, I think you're going to find a lot of thought provoking things. My dad is the expert on the matter, you know, in terms of, you know, as best as we can be. Obviously, he's done the most research on it. And um, you'll be surprised, you know, who, who comes out on which side, you know, and um, I think you'll enjoy it. So please go over to Patreon. And, and, and as always, I would, I'd love it if you guys could support us there because we do try to, to um, create content every day of the week. And it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, and it's one of those things, too, that I want to send all of our contributors and many of our listeners 
and especially our supporters on Patreon, um, cups, um, mugs, Catholic Family Podcast mugs or maybe t-shirts, but you know, the money is a part of the problem and the time to, to create it is also part of the problem. So if anyone else also knows how to do this type of thing, how do you ship cups in the U.S. affordably? I, I have not quite figured that out. Um, if you know, please let me know. kevin 89 davis at gmail.com. Maybe you can help me. Um, coming from Germany, it makes it a little bit tough. I can't really do it myself. Um, so please let me know if you can do that, first of all. But please just go support us. And if you support us, just, just I, I would love you if you could think of it this way. You know, if you listen to our podcasts once a week, twice a week, three times a week, give us five bucks a month. That that's that's less than a Starbucks coffee, I think, by now, right? Or maybe as much. So we're not asking for fifty bucks a month. Five bucks a month is fantastic. That's awesome. We love you guys for it. Um, we love the support we've got, and some of you guys have been here for I think about two years, maybe more. I mean, Harold is one of our biggest supporters. He's the guy who always comes to my mind. who's just been huge, huge for us. He's just as an example, I'm not going to say how much he contributes, but it's a lot per month. And from his money, we're able to do this stream on restream or this recording. I suppose we're able to do Podbean. We've been able to buy equipment. Um, we're just able to run. I mean, I mean, these things are not free. You know, YouTube Plus, it's not free. YouTube Plus is 20 bucks a month. So, you know, this little support, it does help. And it literally helps us create this content. And, well, I, I firmly believe that content shouldn't also, didn't have to be free. I, should, I shouldn't say it shouldn't. But if someone spends their time, I'm a father of three. You know, I've got other jobs. <laughs> you know, certainly... For my family more important than this one you know in terms of literally supporting my family and i would just love it if people would remember that 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 you know that the time that i spend my parents spend that the ladies spend on the podcast that thomas spends on the saturday podcast that our editors spend is it it's worth something right i just think that that is worth something and, and i would i would really really love it if you give us five bucks two bucks one buck if that's what you afford that's totally fine. That's awesome. We have over 7,000 subscribers. If we got one buck from every single person, I mean, we'd be able to create a lot more content. I can tell you that. And it's just something to, to think about. You know, I mean, I, I know it's not easy. There are other ways to support us as well. If you can't support us on Patreon, maybe just send me an email, kevin89davis at gmail.com. Again, kevin89davis at gmail.com. And we can figure it out. Um, we have taken checks and even cash before PayPal. And we're really, we're not doing this for the money. Guys, I can tell you the amount of time we spend on this and the money we get, it's not for the money. We're not in this to make a career out of it. But we do it. I mean, you know, I did go to broadcasting school. You know, I did get a career. I mean, I did spend money on an education to, to learn this type of thing. You know, I, I would love to be able to give money to the priests who come on the show. They do it out of their own goodwill. You know, it'd be great if we could give them money. Right now, we just don't have much. I mean, maybe enough for a coffee cup. So if you can support us, that'd be great. Please do um, Patreon. And again, if you want to watch these videos, we have more coming. I have one coming. I'm going to do some research in the next few months about um, Pope Pius XII. I'm going to really dig into that and um, show, I hope, the world that he is not the quote-unquote Nazi Pope, which um, people have labeled him as. It's an absolute lie and defamation. I kind of want to punch anyone who says it, to be frank. Um, I guess that's not the Catholic way, but um, yeah, that's how I feel, I suppose. And, and it, it, it's a lie. It, it's absolute um, yeah, defamation. It is just saying things that are not true. And that's what I want to talk about. That'll be probably a month or two out because I have to do a lot of research. Um, part of that will be um, covering the the book, The Pope of Spies, or The Church of Spies, I'm sorry, which covers the, the time of, of Rome and Germany, Germany during the Second World War. Um, and I'll try to look into other content as well. I have a, a historian here, a good buddy of mine, who is a Munich historian, traditional Catholic, who I'm sure would and could help me as well to determine exactly what the German Catholic Church did 
And I, I got a great, great um, image the other day from a from one of one of the listeners. Uh, sorry, I forget your name already. Um, who emailed me an image of of the most Catholic areas of Germany during the World War II, and the the areas with the least support for the Nazis. And um, you wouldn't be surprised, I think, my dear Catholics. <laughs> how that correlates. It's exact. It's like exact. It's, it's almost exactly identical. The anti-Nazis are exactly identical to your Catholics at the time. So really beautiful stuff. Um, I plan on, on doing that. That's coming up. And again, that'll be something we'll publish on Patreon. And my brother William is planning on doing a, a video about Catholics and I suppose morality during the American Civil War, which I'm really interested in. I think it'll be fascinating to see because I think it's, it's, you know, it's one of those interesting things. Rebellion, is that moral? You know, what is a true moral war? Is there a moral war? I think there's a lot of things there we can, we can dig into. So a lot of stuff coming. So please go over to patreon.com and support us. Thank you all very much. And until next time.